of animation as opposed to more conventional kinds of video? Well, I think there's, a, it, it, for some reason, it just seems to be the thing that gets the most, the most wow factor, the most response in a way of, um, it's so different, it's so, it's so out there. And it's just, it's just fun to do. I mean, it, it's really time consuming, <laughs> but just that joy that you get at the end of, of, of animating for a couple hours and you watch three seconds of a little puppet walking is just, just something magical about it, I guess. Do you guess. think you couldn't get that if you did a more computer generated kind of motion? Um, I, I don't think it's, it's, it's really not the same. Okay. Uh, because, you know, I mean, computer, computer animated stuff is, is something all of its own. Mm -hmm. Genre, and I'm not gonna put that down in any way. But um, I think there's just, just that almost magical quality to to animation that, in the back of your mind, you know that it's an inanimate object, but somehow it's still alive. It's still moving. Do you mostly work with clay, or have you done stop motion with other kinds of objects? Um, clay is usually the easiest to use, but I've done a lot of um, paper animation. I actually did a little. Um, public service announcement for the city of Palmdale for a contest and that was all paper animation and it was cool. I ended up winning a little bit of a little bit of money for Best Buy and it was, it was cool. Oh that's awesome.